posted October 5, 2017 08637 The Mount Agong volcano is Mother Nature at its finest, and at its most menacing. Key point 7 Without an eruption, Mount Agong is wreaking havoc on Bali's tourism industry Tourism trade has dropped 20% Fats advice does not warn against traveling to Bali as volcano scientists, or volcanologists as they are known, work day and night to predict what the great natural beast will do, the holiday island is being disrupted. An increasingly active volcano in Bali is bad news, even without an eruption. The greatest impact is for the local Balinese, with tens of thousands forced to leave their homes and livelihoods. Then there is the wider business impact of an island that survives and thrives on tourism. 5,000 tourists cancel reservations. No tourist has felt the impact of the bubbling giant Agong, but by their thousands they are canceling travel plans. According to the Bali Hotel and Restaurant Association, 5,000 tourists have canceled their bookings for October. That represents a 20% drop in trade. As a result, Bali's governor Manku Pasika has demanded foreign nations remove travel warnings about the increased volcanic activity. I have talked to them, there are five countries that have increased their travel warning, Governor Pastica said. I asked them to lift that warning because it is still safe, they agreed to lift that soon. The updated Australian travel advice about the Agong volcano does not warn against travelling to Bali. It is factual and measured. Monitor local media reports and follow instruction of local authorities, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade Advice says. An eruption of Mount Agong could impact air travel in the region. Contact your airline or tour operator to confirm travel plans. Nobody can say with clarity when, or if, a gong will erupt. Some warn it could be tomorrow, others say it could take months, or even years, if at all. Unfortunately, complacency is not an option regardless of the time frame. Main concerns over closing airport The governor of the Indonesian Holiday Hub said he had gathered representatives from more than 30 consulates to explain the risk and calm the fear. Kuta, Saner, Nusadua, Jim Baron, Tanalot are all safe, Governor Pastica said of some of Bali's most popular tourist spots. He said the main concern expressed during the meeting was in relation to the closure of the airport. He assured the officials that visas would be extended and accommodation provided if that happened. If they really have to go then they have to go through Surabaya or Lombok, we will provide transport, the governor said of a potential exit plan. Indonesia is riddled with active volcanoes they constantly spew to life with no regard for livelihoods, tourism or life. They are not for the fickle. Mount Merapi, between central Java and Yogyakarta, began erupting in October 2010 and lead to the deaths of hundreds of people. So many others were reportedly treated for burns and respiratory problems after a gas cloud hit villages. The pyroclastic flows, currents of hot gas and volcanic matter, will torch anything in their way. Mount Singabung in North Sumatra began erupting in 2010 and has spewed hot ash into the air ever since. Evacuation centers can be very long-term. In 1963, Mount Igong and all its rage killed more than 1,000 people but Bali's governor is very confident that won't happen again. Don't compare it with the eruption in the year 1963, there was no cars then, there was no communication devices, no electricity, the roads were bad, the government was unstable Governor Pastica said. If the eruption happens today there would not be anyone who dies. A confident pronouncement, but still it's always best to watch your own nation's travel advice. But that doesn't mean you have to cancel travel plans. At least not yet. Topics Volcanice Eruption, Disasters and Accidents, Travel Health and Safety, Bali.